The only thing worse than doing something stupid is being caught on camera, like these thieving officers. <laughs> and these evil caretakers. And even a drunk murderer. Do you really want this on video? Meet 60-year-old Carrie Birmingham, who in December of 2021 discovered a devastating secret that his longtime wife, 48-year-old Patricia, was allegedly cheating on him. This resulted in an explosive argument, which went on for about 30 minutes before it led outside to the couple's driveway. And once outside, Patricia began recording the last video she would ever make. You really want this on video? A bullet. A man that has a bullet. With those parting words, Kerry pulled the trigger and shot his wife dead in broad daylight. As open and shut as this case seemed to be, it's been at the center of much controversy after Kerry pleaded guilty at his trial in early March of 2024 and sentenced to a mere 10 years in prison with eligibility for parole after five years. Some people attribute the decision to the fact that Casey's fate was decided by a rare all-woman jury, and rather than a judge handing down the sentencing, in the state of Texas, the jury act actually sentences the defendants. And since the double jeopardy clause prevents Carrie's sentence from being increased, the sentence will stand and Carrie will be released when he's 70 years old. But if you think committing a crime while knowingly being recorded is the dumbest thing you can do, wait until you see this next suspect who decided to record himself breaking the law. Round and apply, round and apply. But on February the 4th of 2023, an officer stopped a vehicle brandishing temporary tags that were expired. The driver, 23-year-old Alan Lynch Jr., recorded on his cell phone throughout the entirety of the encounter, which went completely off the rails just seconds into the interaction. Hello, sir. Hello, Texas Highway Patrol. Reading for a stop is your expired temp tag. I just got this car today. I, I, can't just, hear you. Got, I just got this car today. Okay, do you have your driver's license on you? Yeah, I do. All right, and then go ahead and step out with me as well. Alan sped off as soon as the officer asked him to get out of the vehicle, and he managed to successfully evade the police and get away. But upon reaching his destination, he made another video bragging about his escape. So, y'all, I got away. I got away. Round and apply, round and apply. But I fucked up. They ain't gonna get, cause they gotta catch me first. They gonna have to catch me first, man. I ain't finna tell you. You feel? I think I'm finna make they job easy. You think I'm gonna make they job easy? They job is to catch us. Our job is to run away. They go here, like, comment, subscribe, and he's going up from here. And um, yeah, I hope y'all like the video. Everybody who checking in on me, I'm good. I'm straight. That's why I'm making this video to let y'all know I'm good. I'm straight, but don't try that at home. Nobody try none of that stuff at home. Cause that's not safe. Both videos were posted to YouTube and various other social medias, and needless to say, this contributed to Allen's discovery and arrest just four days later. He was subsequently taken to jail and charged with evading police. Allen wasn't the only one to be taken down by social media. The next suspect tried to impress his Snapchat audience by doing drugs and threatening the cops, but got himself arrested instead. Between 70 and 72, uh, every now and then he flips his lights on, on and off. You know, in August of 2023, an officer was finishing up a traffic stop when he noticed an approaching vehicle driven by a familiar face. Police knew the driver as 18-year-old Dominic, a man who frequently made Snapchat posts of himself smoking weed, holding a handgun with an attached laser, mentioning his intent to sell the weed, and threatening to pop a police officer. Seeing as his brake lights were out on this particular day, the officer followed and initiated a traffic stop on Dominic's car. But as soon as he activated his lights, Dominic sped away and turned off his headlights. Going back towards the village on Warren Street. 212, I'm with, I'm gonna call it. Eastbound Lawrence, Eastbound Lawrence. Northbound Spring, Northbound Spring. 4760, lights are back on. Fifth, 
down, eagle approaching fifth. Uh, I believe that's going to be that down a revoked license. Market. I got primary northbound eagle from a northbound eagle from a from a catching up to the vehicle speeds 90. Two twelve two nineteen. What was your reason for stop? Equipment violation, flat exhaust, and uh, light violation. Ten four plus plates not matching the vehicle. Good. Uh, vehicle is blacked out again. No traffic. Westbound first half. By the way, we're in Adams County if you want to let them know. 212 Marquette, going through the stop sign of E, County E and first. No traffic. Continuing westbound into Adams County. 212 Marquette, we are west on first towards Ember. I'm going to get up to this next cross street and then probably terminate. Current speed is 73, right on them. We've got one vehicle, we are northbound on Ember, one vehicle. Uh, we got another one oncoming, his lights are back out again. I'm right behind him, at about 73. 544, 212, I'm still behind you, trying to catch up. Speed's about in the, between 70. And I am going to terminate here, stand by for the next cross. I have terminated. Right at the intersection of Ember and G. George. After about 20 minutes of speeding, the officer called off the pursuit, but that would not be the last time they'd see Dominic. Later in that same night, an officer ran the plates of a pickup truck with a loud exhaust and found that the driver lived in the same apartment complex as Dominic. The truck was also coming from the area where Dominic was last seen, and it had multiple occupants inside. So, officers initiated a risky traffic stop with a hunch that Dominic was one of the passengers in the truck. There's a male in the back. Of that vehicle behind the driver. Too tall, Marquette. We're high risk stop right now. Two. Driver, turn it off. Step out. Step out. Keep your hands where you can see them. Take the keys with you. Take the keys with you. Take the keys with you. Let me see your hands. Come back. Okay. You're not who we're after. Just keep coming back this way. Who's in the truck with you? Okay. Where'd you pick? Up at tonight. Can I sit on my tailgate? Like you can sit on my tailgate. No, I can't sit. It'll hurt. I gotta. Step out with your hands up! We got a canine if you run, you will be bent! Don't be your hands! You are under arrest! Step okay. back! I'm complying! I'm complying! You weren't earlier when you were running, so step back! Sir, my car was stolen! No, it wasn't! I saw you in it! Step back! Step back! Get love. Watch. Watch that bad man. Watch him. Walk back here! Shut up and listen! Walk backwards! If you make any stupid moves, my dog will bite you! Do you understand? Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Stop. Don't make any moves. We have a canine, you will be bit. 219 Marquette. 1095. Watch him. Oh boy. You mess around when it comes to running up here. I saw you in the driver's seat. I have it on video. I don't need to talk with you, just so you know. Okay? What do you got on you? 1095. Hmm. Interesting. Listen, just hear me out, okay? I don't need to. It's a Volkswagen Jetta. I don't need to. I already saw you. Wired you right to the st start or something. Like. You can see it's got to push the start. If you go find it, it's got to push the start. You can argue with the video. You can argue with the video. That's fine. I have it. We have a lot of video cameras here. Still You're under arrest, so. Puss, go, boy. Can I talk to Jay before I nope. go? Nope. So haven't you messed around in a small town? Oh, you got him. Get up there. Go, boy. Cats are good, man. Cats are good, dog. Driving that vehicle when he ran for us. Yeah, the Volkswagen. Because you picked him up. Oh. And so it's your, your cooperative. That's my girlfriend. My son is in there. You're transporting a felon right now. Okay. After extracting his girlfriend and young son from the car, the officers do a sniff search around the truck to make sure there were no drugs inside. My son is in there. Baby, don't let him take him. So is this your truck? That's my father's. Please, that's my son. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble tonight for what he did earlier. I don't know where his vehicle is at the moment. Okay. I picked him up at a bloody cell. Okay. I'm just going to be honest with you. If I find out that you're lying to me, I will arrest you and charge you with obstructing and your kid will go to social services. Do you understand me? I understand. I'm very aware. I've been in situations like this. Okay. Did he send any messages to you at all about what transpired tonight? His phone is off and so is mine. So how did he call you? Uh, the house phone. He wants to ask somebody. Any weapons in the vehicle? No. Any drugs in the vehicle? So if I deploy my dog, the dog's not going to alert to anything in the vehicle? No. Mr. 
go up. Oh, boy. Yep, that's fine. Put your arm in the vehicle. Here, it's the garage. Oh, wait, possible alert. Just be honest with me, what are we going to find in the vehicle? I don't know. I don't do any drugs. Okay, well, he smell, he reeks of weed, so. He does? Yeah, he does. He's on the back That's tailgate here, yeah, so. Anyone told you what's going on? So your boyfriend led four of us on a high-speed pursuit through Marquette County, through the village of Westfield, and out into Adams County. Um, so he's going to jail right now for felony eluding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at with that. Okay. Um, did he have anything on him, or do you have anything on you? No. Because the dog alerted to the vehicle, so I'm going to be searching everything in the vehicle. He gave it to me. You can ask him. It's his. It's marijuana. Oh, okay. It's his. Dominic only managed to delay the inevitable, but he was finally arrested and transported to the police station. He also successfully earned himself a felony charge for fleeing or eluding an officer in a vehicle and misdemeanor charges for reckless driving and endangering safety. Second offense, and bail jumping on top of being ordered to pay over $700 in citations. While those suspects knew they were being recorded, the worst things often happen when the suspect has no idea they're on camera. Take this next creep, for example, who did know that security cameras were watching him grab women inside of a Walmart. No! On June the 9th of 2023, Walmart security called the police while tracking a man through the store via surveillance cameras. The suspect was seen assaulting numerous women by taking upskirt pictures of them and grabbing their backsides. The victims included a 16-year-old girl and an 11-year-old girl who was in the toy aisle. Yeah, roll back 17 and show them if you want. You, you got him. Uh, he just turned that home. Coming towards the front. Uh, yeah, he's coming towards. Actually, he's been. He's circling. He's. Yeah, he's like the second one. He's trying to. They are. This is the second the first. So the first one we call. Wearing glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Because yesterday he was in here and a little girl reported. A little girl, probably nine, reported that he grabbed her butt. Yeah. And then we were looking for him, but he, he got out before we could get to him. And then today, See, just walking, he's about to do her. He's about, he just walked he's, in. Oh, he's taking pictures of her. Yeah, he's taking pictures of her skirt. All right, yeah. Uh, well, that's oh, she's done. Good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Just stay off that. Guy like this might get freaky, dude. Just yeah. stand back away. The suspect, identified as 33-year-old Gary Moultrie, evaded police and made his way to the garden center. But once he realized he was boxed in, he did the only thing he could do, try to lie his way out of it. I've got him at the garden center. Stop! Stop! Is, Stop! Is, my daughter is like right there and she needs some help. Now. Glasses, black shirt, camo pants, black help. shoes. Now. He running back the other way. All right, he's go he's going back into Walmart. No! Stop! My daughter needs some help, man. You're not missing me. Time for he's running around the garden center. If I get someone else over here, stop right there! Hold on your stomach. Hold on. I will pepper spray you as well. Roll over onto your stomach. Roll over. Roll over on your Roll over. <sighs> Cap, can you uh, search him, please? I guess he broke the phone, so. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Lay you're down. bending my leg. You're bending my arm. Hold on. You get situated. Lay down. Here, I got his leg, Cap. Stand still. I'm pulling these out, all right? All right. All right, we're going to stand you up, okay? All right. Sit up. Go on, you know what I'm saying? Tom Ely, Kennedy Road, between two roommates, the first and seven. Ten for it, they separated. You got video footage? Yeah, we got video footage. Yeah. 
I'll grab it for you, LT, if you want. I can always come back. I'll put the seat there. Give me a mark. Gary was taken to the police station where a quick look at his criminal record showed he had been a registered offender in the state of Georgia since 2020. Gary had been formally convicted of nearly every predatory crime that one could commit, including statutory grape and enticing a child for indecent purposes. This time, he was charged with sexual battery, which he'd also previously been convicted of in 2016. There's no doubt that Gary deserves a long stay in a jail cell, but sadly, the next subject didn't even deserve the torment she endured at the hands of her own caretakers. In late 2021, the family of 88-year-old Ann King began to suspect that she was being mistreated at her luxury nursing home, Signature's Regate Grange. Their suspicions began when Ann, who was stricken with dementia, began asking her family terrifying questions as like whether they were going to throw her out of a window. This prompted her family to set up a hidden camera inside of her room, which captured deplorable behavior by the facility's employees from November 2021 to February of 2022. The footage captured numerous instances of Anne being handled roughly, held down, intentionally picked on for no reason, and even harassed by her cleaner who repeatedly hit her in the face with a cleaning towel before taunting her with obscene gestures. On that occasion, Anne was left on the floor by herself for almost an hour and could be heard calling out for her late husband. That was the torture that she endured while in the facility that collected over $2,000 a week from her family. As a result, the family took the footage to the police and promptly removed Anne from the home, though she would sadly pass away only months later. As for the employees involved, one would be fired and two more quit after being confronted about their actions. Another employee was retained and remained employed at the facility. The cleaner admitted to common assault and was banned from working at any signature facility. You would think that the cops that handle these situations are above such sinister behavior, but some officers are no better than the evil caretakers, and this next trio is a prime example of that. Put him in the shirt. 
Ray-Bans. In October of 2021, the Smith County Sheriff's Office was called to facilitate an eviction. In response, Constable Curtis Trailer Harris, Chief Deputy LaQuinda Banks, and Sergeant Derek Holman arrived at the residence, successfully removing all the occupants without incident. However, after Chief Deputy Banks unknowingly activated her body camera, what the officers did after removing the family was secretly recorded. Hold on. Oh. Hold on, don't come down here. Let me see. We set that on that dresser. What's this? Uh, a box. <laughs> you still still in here? You find something else? We can see the Chief Deputy Banks, much like the other officer, rummaging through the family's personal items and stuffing valuables into her vest and shirt. They continued to shamelessly inventory the home while the moving company waited right outside. Now, are they allowed to keep anything of value? Who? What's all this? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Ray Bans. Okay. What's in here? Hold on. Hold on. Ray Bans. Clean it out. Yeah. <laughs> we done got hot. They can come in. <laughs> yeah. Just hot. You ain't gonna need me to go rest? You need to go sit down and rest a little bit? Oh, yeah, I need to go sit down and rest. Yeah, go sit down and rest. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little, little fat over there. <laughs> Trying to find the pocket. <laughs> Footage was, of course, reviewed and the trio was caught red handed. All three officers were arrested the following month, but all three actually pleaded not guilty to abuse of official capacity, official oppression, and felony theft over $750 and under $2,500 by a public servant. The investigation is currently ongoing. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one and don't forget to subscribe.